been said, you go to college to learn the ABCs, and then you go to the world to learn the rest of the alphabet, and BYU became the alphabet for me. It was at BYU where I met my wife. It was at BYU where I deepened my understanding of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's at BYU where I learned really to work with people. My profession of English and journalism and public relations uh, was learned there both as a student and as an administrator. I, I left administration at BYU to uh, be president of the of a mission in Boston. When I came back, I had the privilege of serving on the faculty at BYU. Then I went to the, to the church uh, in public affairs. I say I should be a lot better man than I am because I did have the opportunity of often being in the presence of the First Presidency. I remember one time when, when Elder Faust and I were going in to meet uh, President Monson and President uh, Hinckley. President Hinckley was not yet president of the church. President Benson was ill. And uh, we invited to kneel with him in prayer. A lot of times when I heard the brethren pray in meetings, I hardly dared open my eyes for fear the Savior would be standing there because their prayers were so sincere and heartfelt. The other thing that, uh, that I have loved doing in my life in terms of serving the church full time is to be president of the San Diego Temple. And that is a crowning experience of one's life. Uh, to be in the temple on a daily basis, and then the, the spiritual experiences that take place there are really an amazing. To receive this award is, is an overwhelming thing for me in many ways. I sat on the committees that chose award recipients for many years, and uh, I know the great men and women who have received these in the past, and I know that I don't really stand up or qualify, and so it's very humbling. To, uh, to receive this.